Caroline, that poll, I went through the details in Victoria, age poll out today. Uh, the Libs currently, the Victorian lower house, hold 19 of 88 seats, 1-9. You hardly think they could sink lower, but they have. I think they've moved about eight points since last year. This 23% uh, primary, it's a shocker. Look, it can't get a lot worse for them. It, 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 honestly, it's getting to rock bottom now, isn't it? Well, maybe it can get worse, but hopefully they can cauterise this wound. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with uh, what had the handling of the Moira Deeming um, whole, that whole drama. Obviously, she spoke at a, at a rally and she defended women's rights. And I think a lot of people out there thought, those are our views. We want to speak out. Uh, this is how we feel about protecting women's rights and protecting children. But she was demonised for that by her own party, and I think that's shown how far the party has strayed from its own base. And then today we see John Pesuto make these comments that you showed earlier in the program about normal people and how he wants more normal people in the party, which is a real slap in the face for the MPs that are currently there. What are they, abnormal? What is he saying about them? So <laughs> I, I feel like it's it, it, something has to be done here and it has to start at the top, really, because they are in no way competitive um, in Victoria at all. And, and frankly, this should have been a good time for them in the polls, given mm. uh, the recent budget, which saw billions of dollars in new taxes and uh, cuts in the public service and, uh, and this corruption finding against uh, the government. Mm. So, honestly, they should have done a lot better than they performed. It just seems to show that it, it's insurmountable for them unless they make some major changes within the party.